The U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has played a rendition of Neil Young's Rockin' in the free world with a local band at a bar called Diktat on his surprise trip to Kiev. The song was released by Neil Young in 1989 after a planned concert in the Soviet Union was cancelled. Before he began playing, Blinken told the audience, your soldiers, your citizens, particularly in the Northeast, in Kharkiv, are suffering tremendously. But they need to know, you need to know, the United States is with you, so much of the world is with you and they're fighting not just for a free Ukraine, but for the free world. And the free world is with you. The band was followed by a group of Ukrainian veterans who played wearing military fatigues, cultural forces of Ukraine. It was founded in 2022 to boost Ukrainian morale after Russia's invasion, and has both a civilian and military branch. Blinken arrived in Kiev by train early on May 14 morning on the previously undisclosed visit, which comes days after Russia launched a ground incursion into the north of the region of Kharkiv, opening a new front and stretching Ukraine's soldiers. Blinken's visit to Kiev has become one of the main topics of the Western media. The Wall Street Journal says, the main purpose of the visit was to discuss how American aid could bolster Ukraine's defenses, an initiative made impossible by Russia's military success. The New York Times, with hunger in the Gaza Strip and tension in Kharkiv, Blinken's performance in a bar drew criticism online, with many saying now was not the time to be improvising on stage in jeans. The Hill, during a concert in a Kiev bar, the group singer introduced Blinken to the audience and called him Ukraine's greatest friend. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken made unannounced visit to Ukraine on Tuesday amid Ukrainian counteroffensive against increasingly intense Russian attacks. Blinken arrived by train from Poland in a surprise visit and met Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky shortly after arriving. During the meeting, Zelensky asked for more air defense systems for his country. Blinken responded that, some of it has already arrived and more of it will be arriving. And that's going to make a real difference against the ongoing Russian aggression on the battlefield. We discussed in detail the situation on the battlefield, support for our soldiers and further defense cooperation, Zelensky said while summing up the results of the meeting with Blinken on his Telegram channel. In particular, we talked about the Patriot systems for Ukraine, to protect our cities and communities, such as Kharkov and Kharkiv region. Two Patriots for the Kharkov region could significantly help in protecting lives from Russian terror, he went on saying. Zelensky thanked the American people, the U.S. Congress, the House of Representatives, President Biden and his team for supporting Ukraine's fight for freedom and independence. We appreciate the decision to continue U.S. support for Ukraine and today we talked about how to quickly implement the announced assistance packages to get weapons in the hands of our soldiers as quickly as possible, Zelensky said. The Ukrainian leader further said that he and Blinken discussed preparations for the Global Peace Summit, stressing America's role in maintaining a rules-based world order does not weaken. It was Antony Blinken's first visit to Ukraine since Joe Biden signed a $60 billion aid package for Ukraine after months of blocking by some Republican Party members.
Чотири вітання від президента Байдена. Ми всі захоплюємося вашою стійкістю, вашою силою, вашим лідерством. Ми знаємо, що це складні часи, але ми також знаємо, що допомога вже схвалена, вона вже їде, вона скоро вже прибуде до України. І вона допоможе вам по-справжньому боротися проти агресії Росії на полі бою. І ми, так само, як і багато партнерів України, впевнені, що ви досягнете перемоги саме на полі бою. І також дуже важливо, що з часом Україна стане на власні ноги і в сенсі демократії, в сенсі економіки буде вільною, процвітаючою. І це те, що буде, власне, найкращою відповіддю Путіну. Це буде найкращим вашим майбутнім. І ми в Сполучених Штатах дійсно віддані цьому. Ми пройшли вже довгий шлях за ці декілька років, і ми бачимо надзвичайну мужність українців. І ми впевнені, що ця мужність збережеться і надалі, і ми абсолютно віддані тому, щоб забезпечити ваш успіх. І, як ви казали, є декілька політичних моментів, які треба обговорити. І ми хочемо пересвідчитися, що ми разом з багатьма нашими партнерами за наступні декілька місяців успішно дійдемо до того, щоб розв'язувати ці проблеми, які перед вами стоять, і ми маємо робити це разом. Ми готові обговорювати ці питання з вами.